So the world is fighting China's export the Wuhan coronavirus. Guess what the Chinese are up to? Millions are out and about. They're traveling around China. The Chinese tourism ministry could be back, or industry rather, could, could be back on track because it has already made more than $6 billion this month. This month. Our next report tells you more. The month of May started with a five-day break, courtesy the Labor Day holidays. Guess what happened? The people of China made at least 23 million domestic trips on the first day. The trips contributed 9.7 billion yuan to the tourism revenue, which is around 1.38 billion dollars. 50 million trips were made by the end of day two. By the end of day four, the tourism coffers collected 43.23 billion yuan. That's a little more than 6 billion US dollars. The government expects that by the end of the holiday, the people of China would have made at least 90 million trips. Do these numbers look implausible? Well, they are from the Chinese Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Let's compare this with numbers from last year. In 2019, 195 million trips were made during the May Day holidays. This was a 13.7% year-on-year increase. And travelers contributed 117.67 billion yuan to the tourism revenue which is around $17.5 billion. So the numbers for this year are not bad at all, given the current situation. The world is still battling the coronavirus, and China is fresh out of the pandemic wave. How has the dragon managed to encourage tourism in such large numbers? China has opened 70% of its tourist spots. Nearly 8,500 A-level spots had opened their gates by the 1st of May. The idea was to attract tourism and boost consumption. And local governments have left no stone unturned to ensure this. We distilled and highlighted the uniqueness of each village. That country life is what tourists want to appreciate. China also rolled out attractive electronic vouchers and discount coupons. A 150 million yuan fund was allocated to boost consumption. The recent discounts are really attractive. I have some time in my hands, so I have come out to do some shopping. Over 85% hotels across China have resumed operations. Is China compromising social distancing in order to boost its economy? China says no. Authorities say they have placed a cap on the number of tourists in every location. 30% of the total capacity, to put it in numbers. All tourists are also required to take temperature checks. Hotels too have ushered in new social distancing rules. You see, Beijing's economy has taken a hit. And the Communist Party is banking on tourism to start filling its coffers. Bureau report, we are World is One.